Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel of Power Green Software. My name is Gary Greenan, I am a Chartered Quantity Surveyor and I've been using Bluebeam Review for over five years now. We hope you find these videos useful and interesting. And don't forget to click on the link at the very end of each video where you can visit our website and download a full 30 day working trial of Bluebeam Review with no obligations to buy. Okay, this is a quick little tip for maybe clients of the construction industry who are getting sets of drawings from architects or engineers and looking for a quick way to get around the drawings um, fairly easily. Now, Bluebeam Review gives you these things called flags which is a bit like you know if you imagine an A4 folder of paper and you put a little bit of sticky paper on them just to help you highlight and get to the page quickly so to use these we could do a quick way of doing it which means using the, the software itself to automate it if I go over here and I create a page label I'm gonna pick a region now from looking at these drawings that have been sent through roughly this area here gives me the name of the drawing so we'll try that and we'll see what happens so I'm doing this in real time now so that's actually thinking about it Just going around reading all these drawings so there's 13 drawings and Bluebeam itself is actually reading them so now okay I'll press okay and we'll go okay so it's going to create them now. I've actually haven't tried it on these documents before, so this would be interesting to see how it works out in real time as well. So it's creating the page labels from that area I defined by drawing the little rectangle. So Bluebeam is going to each page, reading what's in that rectangle, and taking that out from the drawing and saying, right, okay, this is going to be the page label or the page name. So the first one I drew around was site plan. So it should come up on that page as site plan. So it's nearly there now, it's just doing it in real time. I should have some background music on, but I haven't got any. 69%, 76, a jump to there. Now, if you had maybe 50 or 60 drawings, it would take a lot longer, obviously. But um, it's just the actual software itself going through and mirroring it. Okay, so now let's have a look on this side. So what we've we got, we've got a cover sheet, yeah. Index, yeah. Site plan, yeah. Level one, wing two, floor plan, okay, that's okay. So now, that's those there. Now, a quick tip, let's start here. I'll make flags for all of these. So I'm just gonna press plus, return. Go to the next page, plus, return. Go to the next page, plus return. Sorry, when I'm saying return, I'm pressing my enter key. New flag, enter key, next page, new flag, enter key, and so on and so on. So if I want to jump across these drawings now very quickly, I just press the flags here, site plan, level one, two plan, and so on and so on. There is a way in, in Bluebeam, which I'll show in another video, where you can actually hyperlink you can create, you can create these hyperlinks between the drawings but sometimes they work sometimes they don't work but what i found is that if you make actually a page name to correspond to the actual title drawing name and then make a flag you can get around just as easy we can jump all the way down to the last page here page 13 which is level one details i press my flag again i press enter and you'll notice that that flag now drops in as the last flag because it's the last page. If I pick the one before that, so the roof plan, and I go to add a flag, I press return again, it puts it in order. So these are actually a run in order of the drawings as well. Okay, so that's a little tip about just getting through and navigating drawing sets.